Mr. Beast has just revealed his new $2 million tool that will change the landscape of YouTube forever. It'll define the content that viewers watch and the content that creators will create. The creator that has gained over 50 billion views and now has over 260 million subscribers. If there's anyone that's learned how to crush it on YouTube, it's Mr. Beast. But now he's giving away the secrets behind what helped him to grow his channel into a YouTube empire. So let's break down this tool, see how it compares to similar tools and see why it's going to impact your experience on YouTube. Now before we take a look at some of the cool things that this tool can do and some of the tools that it's up against, I want to say that in this video we're going to be revealing some of the tactics and strategies that your favourite YouTubers use to get you to watch their videos. And these strategies will help you a lot, especially if you're wanting to start and grow your own YouTube channel too. I'm going to show you the free features that come with ViewStats, which genuinely blew my mind. But first you need to understand the one thing that creators want more than anything, and that is audience satisfaction. To understand what this tool is, it's probably best you think of YouTube as a marketplace. At a market, you get loads of different traders and stores selling different types of products. And it's the same with YouTube. The videos are like the products, the channels are like the stores, and the creators are like the store owners. But only the best channels get the most views and subscribers. But what is it that makes these channels the best? And if you said they know exactly what their viewers want, then you'd be right. And this $2 million tool can help creators understand what their audience wants. But let's take a look to see how ViewStats free features can increase video views, make videos more clickable, and how its free features compares with its competitors. But what is ViewStats up against anyway? Well, there are three tools that MrBeast is coming up against. Social Blade, TubeBuddy, and VidIQ. First of all, let's take a look at what MrBeast tool doesn't offer for free. Video optimization, an ideas generator, training, keyword opportunities, an AI coach, and custom checklists. All of these tools are available for free on vidIQ, apart from the checklist tool which is available on TubeBuddy. But vidIQ doesn't offer one of the most awesome tools that are available on ViewStats, and it's a tool that's going to change the landscape of YouTube forever. So let's take a deep dive into what you can get for free and after that I want to show you one of the best features that I've ever seen come with a YouTube tool and it comes for free with ViewStats. YouTube Studio, which is the analytics platform for YouTubers, has a feature showing how your video is performing in comparison to your 10 most recent video uploads. It's basically a good indication to see how much your audience actually wanted your video in comparison to your previous 10. If a video is 1 out of 10, then it's basically the best performing video out of your 10 videos. If it's a 10 out of 10, then it's maybe not done so well. But ViewStats does something with this that no other free tool has been able to do. It allows you to see how other channels videos are doing in their own 1 out of 10 ranking system. If you're a creator, you could use this tool to go to other channels in your niche and see how videos are performing and then see whether it's something that your audience might want. But a vital element that you kind of have to understand if you want to grow a YouTube channel is statistics. But it's hard to understand which stats you should actually look at. Now there are two types of metrics, vanity metrics and actionable metrics. Vanity metrics are stats that might be useful to know, but don't actually change anything. And actionable stats are stats that are useful to know because they'll help you to improve your videos. ViewStats does provide some actual metrics which we'll dive into soon, but it does a great job of keeping things simple. It provides the only two important vanity metrics, subscribers and views. There's a feature that I'll show you soon which actually provides an incredibly useful metric, which I've never seen before and is going to change YouTube forever. But whilst we're looking at these free tools, it's worth mentioning that this is only the beginning for ViewStats. In a recent interview, MrBeast said this. And then we're building, we have a, a roadmap with like a dozen other tools we want to roll out over time. Another feature that ViewStats offers is seeing how well your channel and videos are doing in comparison to your competitors. Now I wouldn't say there's any metrics here that are going to help to define how you grow your channel, but it's a good way of seeing how your channel is performing in comparison to others. But there's this weird thing that's been happening to me recently on YouTube, and I think it's possible that it's happened to you too. I'll scroll the YouTube homepage or one of my favourite channels and basically see a video that I'm certain I've seen before. But this time it looks a little bit different, and I'm not sure why it looks different, but for some reason, it does. Then when I used ViewStats, it showed me exactly why. You see, A-B testing has been available to most creators since 2023. It's where you can upload multiple variations of a thumbnail, and the best performing one gets shown the most. Eventually you can stop the test and just display the winning thumbnail, but ViewStats allows you to see when A-B tests have been made on any video. This means you'll probably have more moments where you come across a video that you're certain you've watched before, or you're trying to look for a video that you've watched in the past but can't find it because the thumbnail has been changed. 
but even though this can be slightly annoying for viewers, it can be a great tool for creators. You can see the thumbnail that the creator went with in the end, which is a great way for you to understand what thumbnails work and why. But that's not even the best part. ViewStats comes with its own free extension that has one of the best features that I've ever seen on any analytics tool. ViewStats comes with a graph showing the growth of a video since it was published. Now, TubeBuddy's extension comes with a similar free feature, but ViewStats version is much easier to read. And it looks nicer too. But you can see the amount of subscribers and views the video has got. But there's also this other feature which I absolutely love. Like I was saying earlier about the A-B testing, which you can find on the ViewStats website, this plugin comes with its own version, but I actually think it's better. As you move your cursor along the timeline, you'll see exactly when the video's thumbnail and title has been updated. You'll also see exactly when an A-B test has been run with thumbnails. This timeline makes it really easy to see exactly how the changes have impacted the video's performance over time. But these aren't the only tools available with ViewStats. MrBeast recently announced the launch of ViewStats Pro, which comes with many other features, such as seeing every single A-B test ever run on YouTube, video outliers to help you make better performing videos, thumbnail search, keyword trend alerts, and a place called Collections where you can store video inspiration. But maybe you don't have a channel to use this tool on. Or maybe you have a channel, but you're having doubts whether to go all in on YouTube and create content on the platform. I was in the same position until I just started. And when I hit 400 subscribers, which only took me a few months, my entire life changed. You can find out how by watching this video right here. And hopefully it gives you some inspiration to start creating your own too.